this time, the hunt for Abattoir comes to its end with Batman issue 508. This issue is written by Doug Mensch with pencils by Mike Manley, inks by Joseph Rubenstein, colors by Ken Brusniak, and is edited by Jordan B. Gorfinkel. This issue is between Detective Comics 674 and 675 and is probably before um, the back of the one the one story in showcase 94 number seven but <clears throat> that story is also a half issue story so save that for next time jean paul is on the hunt for abattoir roaring through the city in the batmobile and in the process nearly running down a pedestrian meanwhile robin in jean paul's absence has broken into the bat cave to use the bat computer to find abattoir now, Robin had previously had a tap into the bad computer. I'm not sure what happened to that. And Abattoir is le just leaving where he has set up his brother's torture apparatus. As he walks down the street, both Asbat and Robin find him. Asbat finding Abattoir and Robin finding them both. Asbat, not knowing about Robin's presence, chases Abattoir into a foundry. There, the pursuit ends with Abattoir dangling from a chain over a crucible of molten metal. The spirits of Saint Dumas and Azrael return, the saint urging Jean-Paul to save Abattoir, while the angel of death urges him to finish the Kinslayer off. Ultimately, Asbat doesn't act at all, um, basically telling the two non-present ghosts, the hallucinations, to decide what happens, and thus Robin arrives just in time to see Abattoir plummet to a fiery death. Two hours later, in the Bat Cave, Jean-Paul collapses to his knees in anguish, and elsewhere, in an abandoned warehouse, the last weight drops and Graham Edgison dies, alone. It is time to return to all those points where I said, let's stick a pin in that over the course of Night, Qu Night Quest. When we look at the big picture, in terms of Asbat's tenure as Batman so far, we see a person who is slowly losing track of some important parts of being Batman. When Asbat beat Bane, we saw that he didn't kill Bane, in spite of everyone present. Robin, Commissioner Gordon, the GCPD, including Lieutenant Ketch and Detective Bullock, thinking that he would. However, not that long after that, with the fight against Scarecrow, we saw him seemingly let Scarecrow fall to his death with only Anarchy being able to save him, though Asbat said that he knew Anarchy would do that. Then later we have where the story where Asbat fights Joker, and Asbat nearly beats Joker to death and is only stopped by Lieutenant Ketch putting a gun at his head, and then finally now he lets Abattoir die, and by extension lets Graham Etchison die. On top of this, related to Etchison, Asbat has consistently for his entire tenure rejected the detective parts of being Batman. Whenever he has to investigate something, he grumbles and complains, with some of his more successful investigations basically getting spurred on by him having hacked the Bat computer to feed him information either directly or by leaving a trail of breadcrumbs in um, recently accessed history. And all of this is combined with the fact that while Asbat has broken off from fights to save innocents, like saving the Clayface's child, uh, infant. Ultimately, when adults are in danger, he will focus on the fight rather than the rescue. That's why Graham Mitchison was in this situation in the first place. Um, in fact, the stro story in Showcase 97 that I'll be covering next time is practically an outlier in that, this regard. It makes for really good slow burn storytelling uh, by showing the Asriel side of things. Asriel does not protect. Asriel uh, avenges. Um, that sort of thing. Coming more and more to the forefront as we've come closer and closer to the end of the crusade. And I'll get more into that once we wrap up Night's Quest and begin to start Night's End and talk about where DC as a whole was and what larger things are coming up and how that's going to impact the story because we're approaching a situation where the holistic state of the DC universe is going to cause some hurdles that the bat office is going to have to overcome. However, we have about four-ish 
four and a half more issues, and three more episodes before we wrap up Night Quest. Though. Next time, we'll have a take a look at a direct aftermath of this with the GCPD with um, Showcase 94, number seven, the first story of that issue, and Shadow of the Bat 28. See you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Tossing me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>